Hi guys, so today it's all about being more efficient with your time. So what I like to do is I like to sit down the night prior to the day that I'm gonna uh, be working in and I like to already write down uh, my plan or the plan for the day, you know, write those things down, what you're gonna do and don't make a whole list of things because if you end up doing half of it only, you're gonna feel so frustrated. So be realistic about what you can actually fit into a day. And obviously, once you go along with this, you figure out a more realistic time frame of how much you actually get done in a day uh, on each topic or subject. Um, so that's one. And once you have that plan, hang it up in the place where you can see it, okay? So I like to hang it up close to my desk or work area so I can actually monitor a little bit of what else I have planned out to do once I'm going at it. Um, then go to bed on a reasonable time, preferably around 11 or 10.30ish if it's possible. Uh, so you can also wake up early, you know. I like to aim my time at around even 6 o'clock or earlier if I can. Because I have experienced that that's an amazing time to do a lot. You don't get interrupted, the phone doesn't ring, half of the world is still asleep, if not more. So it's a great time and obviously it's also a time where we feel, you know, in the stillness, we get more creative ideas. So things seem to be flowing more efficiently early in the morning. And so while you're at it, you know, why not start moving right away as well? You know, get that run going, get your body moving because that's, sparks the creative juices and puts them in the flow <laughs> and you know take that warm shower and with the cold one to get that circulation going as well so once you've done all that uh, another thing that I would like to do is prepare my food in advance so the things that you can prepare, prepare in advance are those carbs if you're eating carbs if you're not uh, I, I in the winter times I I eat a little bit of carbs in the summertime I try to stay away from the carbs more um, but it's a whole other topic um, to keep on this topic um, you can prepare pasta rice potatoes in advance and put them in the in the fridge uh, you can even make like uh, these pots with everything in them and freeze them but I like to rather stick to you know short-term preparations where I just do the carbs and add fresh ingredients in the moment because I, I like to have those fresh veggies and fruits uh, still fresh because that keeps them more, you know, the vitamins and the nutrients more uh, fresh. So, uh, but it saves a lot of time to do that. So another thing that I like to do is once a week, at least, you know, take some time out and put that in the schedule to clean my house, clean my environment, um, in moments where I don't have a cleaning person coming in and this like now <laughs> in this whole situation that we're all in so you know I do it myself and just take out some time you know and even while mopping or doing whatever it's like an exercise you know use it as a as a as an exercise um, so I really put my muscles in that and I take that time I block it out and I just put some music on do what I have to do, make it efficient, you know, do first things first, sweep off, vacuum clean, mop the stuff, organize everything. Because when you have a clean and organized space, it's also proven that you work more efficiently. Okay, so what else? Prioritize. When you have that day going and you start, I would say the first things to do would be the easy, simple tasks. Because what happens when we do the easy, quick to do, uh, simple things, we get more of them out of the way, okay? We get more of them out of the way early in the day, which gives me a sense of accomplishment already early in the day. And that's a good vibration to be in because when I feel that sense of accomplishment, I'm, I'm psyched, I'm sparked, you know, I can do more with that time. So when I get to the harder tasks that take more time, I don't, I'm not starting to feel this frustration that, oh shit, the day is going bam, 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 and I still haven't done, you know, half of it, and I still see a whole list of things that I, I feel I have to be doing already, but no. So get all those easy, simple uh, tasks out of the way first, so you have that feeling of accomplishment early on in the day, and then take the time to really sit down and do the things that are a bit harder and take more time to do. 
So yes, and I can't stress this enough or emphasize this enough. If you get to do only 80% of what you set out to do, that's great. You know, that's already great. So don't beat yourself up about not having accomplished the full 100%. 80% is good enough. And yeah, again, once you get this going, you get more realistic about it and you will start to plan perhaps your, your day a little bit differently. Um, but therefore, you know, stay in that good vibration. And uh, a very important thing to do is to, to turn off your phone. Okay, if you have calls to make or if you're expecting calls, plan them. Plan them strategically. So if it's clients that uh, you are dependent on for your work throughout the day, do it early in the day. If it's people that you don't depend on for the rest of the tasks in the day, then plan it as late as you can, especially if it's people that are not very positive or that tend to wear you down. You know, you, you try to wanna keep that more at the end. So you stay in your own positive uh, flow and really, you know, get those creative juices going first and keep in that zone and let nothing interfere with that. And until you feel you have done that, then you can get into the world and do all those other things. Don't go and sit on social media because once you go there, it's gonna, you just, you lose yourself, you know, you, time goes and you get distracted. So forget social media. If you have things to do, really keep your focus on the things that you have to do. And if you want to go on social media, again, plan it in and stick to the plan. Very important. So I think I have covered most of the things that I wanted to cover. Oh, another very important thing is what I would like to say is to prime yourself early in the morning. Uh, along with the exercising and the moving, I would say when you wake up, this would be the first thing to do before anything else. You know, I prime myself. Before I even take my feet out of the bed, I sit up straight with a straight back, I close my eyes and it's like my meditation. I do my morning meditation and I prime myself envisioning the end results of my, my, my goals, my intentions. And I really put myself in that space, you know, with my senses. I really try to make it as realistic as I can and really feel the joy of being in that. And that primes me because, you know, that primes me for the things that I have to do in that day because I have a North Star hanging up there, which where these things are going to take me to. So it's a great way to get, you know, motivated and to remember why it is that you need to do those things in that day because they are attached or related to that North Star, which is where you're headed to. Okay, guys, I hope this is of help to you. Enjoy, stay positive, keep working on that mindset. And if you need any advice or tips or if you have any questions, um, you can reach me on my Facebook page uh, at Milo's Motivational or Transformational Coaching. Um, you can check out my website www.mi-lus.com. Subscribe, like, all support is always welcome. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Mwah. photograph in which we were in love caught in your eyes waiting for the sunrise